after discovering governor workers would get a 26% pay raise, Trump does the unthinkable. President Donald Trump was not about to let taxpayers fund a massive 26% pay raise for government employees. In a newly announced plan, the commander-in-chief dropped that whopper of a raise all the way down to a manageable 1.9% pay increase, continuing to give relief to taxpayer dollars. Trump told Congress of this new plan in a letter, saying that that he reducing the increase drastically because the adjustments that would otherwise take effect are inappropriate. TDC reports. Under the current law, the the pay schedule that governs federal employee salaries would raise pay in 2018 by an average of 26 percent and cost taxpayers $26 billion, according to the White House. A pay increase of this magnitude is not warranted, and federal agency budgets could not accommodate such an increase while still maintaining support for key federal priorities such as those that advance the safety and security of the American people, Trump wrote of the current plan. The law Trump references that mandates pay increases is the 1990 Federal Employees Pay Comparability Act. Previous presidents have routinely overwritten the law, but Trump's statements are stronger than the language that former President Barack Obama used. We must maintain efforts to put our nation on a sustainable fiscal course, Trump wrote. Federal employee unions and advocacy groups oppose Trump's plan, and would favor a larger increase. While federal employees will appreciate the raise, an average increase of 1.9 percent is the minimum required to prevent federal pay from declining further, and more rapidly, below market than the current 35 percent wage disparity between public and private sector wages, said Richard Thyssen, president of the National Active and Retired Federal Employees Association. Tony Reardon, president of the National Treasury Employees Union which supports a 3.2 percent federal wage increase, believes the increase is not good enough. Nto believes this figure is too low especially in light of the fact that federal law calls for a 1.9 percent across-the-board raise and private sector wages are growing at an even faster rate, Reardon said in a statement. Add to that, current proposals attacking the federal retirement system would result in a pay cut for federal workers. President Trump is also saving money elsewhere. Washington Examiner reports. A report revealed last Tuesday that just 13 rules scrapped by President Trump and Congress have had an immediate savings of $3.7 billion and will have a potential windfall to taxpayers of $86 billion, savings of potentially $700 per taxpayer. The report from American Action Form, AAF also said that the Trump actions will eliminate 4.2 million hours of paperwork for businesses, state workers and individuals. Congress and the administration have made a lasting impact on regulation so far in 2017. With more than a dozen Congressional Review Act resolutions, they have removed at least $3.7 billion in total regulatory costs, said report author Sam Batkins, director of policy for F. In the report, provided to Secrets, he added that the cuts via the CRA marked the first step in an aggressive effort to reform the administrative state. An earlier report indicated that the long-range savings could top $86 billion. 